Today we will be going over allowance for doubtful accounts and bad debt expense. Allowance for doubtful accounts is the percentage of accounts receivable a company doesn't expect to collect. This count takes away from the value of AR because the company needs to fairly present what they expect to collect. This is a contra asset account to accounts receivable and has a normal credit balance. Estimating the amount of doubtful accounts. At the end of an accounting period, you will estimate the amount of AR you expect you will not collect. You record this amount in the AFTA account and as bad debt expense. This, is the, this follows the revenue recognition rule and this is the journal entry typically prepared. Debit bad debt expense, credit allowance for doubtful accounts. Writing off accounts receivable. When it is confirmed that you will not collect an account from a customer, you decrease the allowance account because you are using some of what you estimated. You also decrease accounts receivable because you are no longer expecting to collect it. This journal entry includes a debit to allowance for doubtful accounts and a credit to accounts receivable. This is a two-step process. First, we estimate the amount of uncollectible receivables with a debit to bad debt expense and a credit to AFTA. And when it is confirmed, we then write off the account with a debit to allowance for doubtful account and a credit to accounts receivable. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.